Okay, hold on. The captain has turned on the fastened seatbelt sign. Please fasten your seatbelts and restore your table trays to their upright position. Where are we going, Sinisa Bird? Turn right. We're gonna go to... We're gonna turn right. Cool. We're gonna go to our farm. We're gonna go to our farm. Yeah. We're gonna go see our fish. small fish pond and yeah. see if, if there are any fish in it or not. Okay, here we go. We're going to the big farm first. No. To the sober car. Yep. Okay, let's see if we got cars coming. Yep. Okay. Check to make sure the coast is clear. Okay, here we go. We are running down the road. Got a loose and load. I haven't been here for two years, maybe. More than that. More than that? Yeah. When was the last? Yeah, maybe three years ago. Before, oh, that's right. Probably before COVID. We go right there. buffalo though. Look at those fine looking water buffalo out there. Get a frog. Oh, but... Water Is buffalo that... farm. There's a deer up ahead. Lucky hop. There's a deer.
the naughty dogs. They sit down? Where? Okay, not making trouble. Okay, let's keep the stick just in case. Is this our hut? Yeah. Wow. So this is our Sorbacor farm and this is another pond that we recently dug out and they just barely planted it with fish. I don't imagine the fish are very big but we came out here to ascertain that very fact. In, in Isan, for some reason they just, they always want to make their ponds square or rectangular. It uh, offends my sense of aesthetics, frankly, but whatever, I'm not going to make a big fuss over it. I can see fish. Oh, I see the fish swimming down in there right now. Looks like they're, they're feeding them over there. Looks like the fish are... Oh gosh, from here they look three or four inches long, something like that. Let's go down and check them out. Food. I don't know what, I have no idea what to feed them. The fish seem to like it. Yeah, it looks like the fish in there, are, I'd say. Three and a half, four inches, something like that. Still not very big. Not big enough to catch and eat, at least. The idea is not, I don't think anybody has any intention of selling them. I don't know, maybe my relatives will, but the main idea is to have fish for our own consumption.
actually this was the first farm that I bought for Sunisa in Thailand and frankly we just sort of forgot about it it's been basically neglected with somebody else just I think they were growing rice on it for for a while and then recently they didn't want to didn't want to farm it anymore so we dug out this pond it looks like somebody has planted cassava roots down there that would be my guess we have a field full of cassava roots and these are banana trees planted along the edges well, it's, it's pretty neat and clean I'm surprised that I, I this is the first time I've seen the pond since it since it was dug earlier this year and already looks really really good looks well established These banana trees are relatively young. Yeah, somebody's really gone all in on the cassava roots. I don't know if that's my my mother-in-law doing that or one of the relatives. Honestly, I, I don't pay a lot of attention to it. This was the first piece of land that I bought for Sunisa in Thailand. And initially, my thoughts were maybe in the distant future I would build a house here. And I didn't really have a detailed plan for that. But later I realized it would take too much to get utilities out here. This is really rural, rural farm area. So and I didn't want to run off of solar power alone didn't want to be completely off the grid so I bought a piece closer in clo closer into the village that said this is a nice little spot or will be I think a nice little spot to come and escape in the in the near future maybe hang out at that hut over there looks like somebody has a hammock in there my wife is already rocking in it Later, when this uh, matures a little bit, might be a good spot to come catch a fish. Oh, somebody has a has a survey marker in here. Uh, that's what that payment was for. I wasn't sure what they were asking about when they did it. They were checking the the boundaries before we dug a pond in here. Today is the 20th of November. By the time this video gets published on YouTube, it will probably be significantly later than that. I'm guessing, you know, when it's really cold and wintry and dark in North Idaho and we don't have anything else to do. But uh, yeah, Thanksgiving is, Thanksgiving in the USA is in two days. I'm gonna be over here Sunise and I are going to be going to fly down to Bangkok in a couple of days and get ready to wrap up this trip to Thailand. We're going to be headed back to North Idaho to the cold and maybe the snow. And probably the next hike that I do will be 
in the snow on the mountain somewhere. I'm quite frankly not eager to get back into the cold and darkness just yet. I'm really enjoying the, the warmth of the sun and the laid back atmosphere, particularly here in, in Isan. I'm really starting to feel at home here in Isan. You don't hear you don't hear a lot about Isan because there's not a lot to hear about. That's exactly what we like about it. You don't find any tourists here. It's off the beaten path. The people here are hardworking and honest. Well, most of them are hardworking and honest. Yeah, the people here, you know, they're mostly farmers, hardworking, honest, good people. And, you know, in spite of the fact that I'm a stranger from a foreign land, they've welcomed me here and they're very kind to me. And they go out of their way to accommodate my, my needs at times. That said, Steve recently posed the question to me, and I've yet to come up with a satisfactory answer. He asked, if I move to Thailand permanently, will I be, will I be satisfied? Will I have enough to engage me? Will I miss the mountains and the lakes and the rivers, North Idaho and Montana? I probably will. I probably will. I'm not sure what I will do over here to substitute that. My intention is to go and trek in the, Him in the Himalayas a little bit before I get too old, before I start falling apart while I can still get around. Uh, I want to go hang out in Nepal for a few months. Um, look around northern India a little bit more you know hopefully if the geopolitical situation becomes a little more tranquil I'd like to go back to western China and do some trekking there with Chinese friends and uh, there's still much of the world I want to see I am trying to talk Steve into going on a trip to the Arctic in Norway with me one of these next years. Um, I've been there before but he has not and it's something I think we should put on our bucket list especially if my bucket list includes me moving over to Isan and falling off the off the known world. But like I said I'm not really ready to lay low so Nisa, on the other hand, look at that. She drove out to the Sorbacor farm. The first thing she did was <laughs> find the hammock. Hammock, let's take a nap. She has her priorities very straight, very clear. All right, I'm going to, I'm going to get out Tinkerbell and, and give her a fly. ขอมาเจอมาเลยเว้ยข้าวอันก็เป็นผู้ว่าที่ยากข้าวที่ไม่เอาเนาะยากมาอะไรเว้ยบ่อันได้มาอะไรเว้ยเย็นน่ะทํา